Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. This is Grace here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. Welcome, come on in. It's Friday and it's DIY craft day and the theme is Jarrific inside the Craft Around the Clock group. And I am, I think I'm presenter number six out of 26 today. So 20 more presenters after me giving you inspiring ideas and some fun um, creative projects with jars, whether they be recycled jars or jar cutouts or made out of cardboard. We don't know. We don't know what we're going to see. So make sure you're inside the Craft Around the Clock group for the whole day's event or even just for part if that's what you can do. All of the videos um, live as well as the video replays, the recordings will be in the featured tab today. So you will not miss out on a thing, even if you have to duck out for a little while. Um, just make sure you get in there. Gave you the link inside the description of this video. Come on in. Welcome to the Comfy Nest with Grace. I am going to grab the feed on my, I have a little computer here. I want to grab the feed and make sure that you guys can see everything well, see things clearly, that you can hear me. If there are any, oh, there we go. I found it. And I'll be able to see your comments, which is fantastic. Good morning, Joy. Hello, hello, friend. Hi, Patty. I see you guys. Hello in Arizona, Brenda. And Trisha's here. Okay, so today I'm working with a cutout. I thought, um, I, you know, I was just trying to think, what could I do that would be different, not an actual jar? Like here I have this little jar that I use for my water if I need to clean a paintbrush real quick. Um, but rather than using an, a, a, like a real glass jar or plastic jar, I'm using a wood cutout of a mason jar. Really cute. You can find these all over the place um, and, and in a variety of different sizes. If you can find a vendor either on Etsy, it's always good to support a small business. So if you can find a vendor on Etsy that makes wood cutouts um, with a laser cutter, um, designs by Dina. I know Dina does that. She has kits. Uh, there are all kinds of these. This one's rather chunky. It's thick. It's heavy wood. It is going to stand on its own with no problem. Um, so it's a great shelf sitter. So we're going to, we're going to work with this and we're going to decoupage today. I have everything but the kitchen sink sitting around me on my desk because we're going to use a lot of supplies today, but they're probably things that you already have on hand. Good morning, Cynthia. Hey Susie, good morning. She says I'm frozen. Oh my goodness, somebody type in a suggestion that she go out of Facebook and back in. It was completely frozen for me too earlier and when I went out and came back in, it just worked fine. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I have this piece of paper here. I know this looks really strange. I created these little, <laughs> ignore that. I created these little God is good um, pieces of paper because I have this little pendant that I wanna hang from my jar. And in the middle, I wanna put this God is good on there, but I don't want it to be white. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this white piece of printer paper with some clear gesso to prime it. And I, I think I want this really bold one right here, so it doesn't take long. That's all that was, was doing that. I'm gonna let that dry. And what the gesso is, it's a primer, so it will, what I wanna use is some watercolor on here. Um, and what the gesso does is it primes your surface, whether it be a piece of paper, a piece of wood, doesn't matter. Um, it primes your surface so that it can take color in, in different wet formats. So we're going to put that aside. I'll get to that later. I just wanted to get that gesso on there to dry while we work on this part. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Jackie says, not frozen. Yay. Yes. Thank you so much, Jackie, for helping her out by typing that in. Hey, Rita. Hi, Susan. Good morning. You may want it. Someone said, I'm frozen no matter what I do. It might be your Wi-Fi or your cell service. So maybe try getting out of everything completely and back in, logging back in, even your cell service or your Wi-Fi. Good. Hey, Mara, my good friend, Mara. Welcome, welcome. Okay, look at you guys, this gorgeous. This is one of the new spring release um, rice papers that I have available in my shop. And I can't resist it. It's just so feminine and beautiful and it kind of talks shabby chic to me. We're going to iron this on. So let me get my little iron ready. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to put it on hot. We want it hot. <laughs> Got my little iron. My glue gun is, is plugged in so I can do some embellishing later. What I need to do though to prep this paper is I'm going to, I'm going to paint the top gold and the bottom. See where that line is right there? I had taken a little chalk, a piece of chalk and I, um, I drew a little line, like an imaginary line of where the lid would be, and I put regular Mod Podge on the bottom half. You can see that line right there. That's Mod Podge. 
Um, so we're gonna use the iron-on method. You can do this with any, really, fabrics. If it's not a really thick fabric, you can do it with fabrics. You can do it with papers, tissue paper, rice paper, napkins. And we're gonna decoupage, but we're using the iron-on method. And in my Napkin Lovers Club, we, we consistently go back and forth now between iron-on method and the regular wet glue method for decoupaging papers because um, some people really like the wrinkle-free life. <laughs> I don't want a wrinkle-free life. I want those, I want those um, little crow's feet to go away. That was like, that was totally by accident, that comment. Um, I actually think I said that the other day and someone said, yeah, I bet you wanna get rid of those wrinkles. <laughs> We talk about wrinkles a lot while we decoupage because some people are not, a, they're just not a fan. Okay, this is what I need to do right here. Just, I'm prepping this paper. So this line right here, between here and here, I cannot, <laughs> this line between here and here, I'm not gonna be able to sand off the paper. So I just gave myself a line. I'm gonna cut across that line. And let's hope I get it right. I really wanna capture in this beautiful paper, that big bottom rose right there on the bottom of my jar. So I think that line will be about right. The nice thing is, because it's a really fluid pattern, um, I, I, can, I can switch, like I can position this however I want on here. And I made sure that it was big enough all the way around. I have some excess so that I can sand that off later. So we're gonna iron this on. Okay, here we go. Let me check comments real quick. Hey, Mary Lenovic. Hey, Anne in North Carolina. There's Dawn, some of my regular crafty chicks. We'd love to know if you're new here to the Comfy Nest with Grace. Um, we love to welcome new members to our community. I happen to call all the girls here at the Comfy Nest crafty chicks. That's kind of what we refer to ourselves as. So we love to have you in our crafty chick community. Uh, make sure you hit that follow button. I'd be honored to have your time and attention every once in a while here on the page. Get to know you a little bit. I know all the girls who are on my Telegram channel or who are members of my groups or su subscribing to the page or just regular hangouts here will all do their best to welcome you, offer you a warm welcome. So today's a really fun day, Jarrific. Um, it's in the Craft Around the Clock group. Like I said, it's a free group, so if you're not a member, go ahead and join. All right, I'm using a Teflon craft mat. You can also use parchment paper for this. I just, I happen to have a lot of mats on hand. In fact, this is the mat that the Napkin Lovers Club members got in their most recent box. Um, and we talked about <laughs> maybe cutting in half and having one side for painting and like messy glue, wet glue, and the other side for iron-on only so that we make sure that we, we have a nice clean mat ready to go. Okay, I gotta check. And I've uh, this these spots right here. I need to add a little more heat. We need to just concentrate on for a minute. Hey, Beth, welcome, welcome, newbie. We're so happy to have you here. Joy says I need to get back into the craft therapy club. You do, my friend. I'm a. <laughs> I have a few of you who are still just stuck in. Well, you're still in. You know, you're in the group. It's not like you're not in the group. We just gotta get you guys your payments to go through. We've had some some credit card, oh my gosh, technology, you guys, I'm telling you. Um, you guys, my son was away, I'll tell you really quick. Okay, so just what I did, it's all glued on there and I have all this excess. So I'm gonna sand and I'm gonna tell you a quick, like Kurt's family story. <laughs> the other day, hello, Sheila in Southeast Missouri, welcome, welcome. Oh, tech stuff, joy, exactly. So. The other day, my son went, last weekend, he went um, on a trip with the high school DECA team. They were, they went to the state capitol here in North Dakota. They went to Bismarck for like state conference, state competition. And before he left, he said, okay, mom, we're basically feeding ourselves. So I'm going to need some cash. Like, okay, no problem. So for a couple of days, we, he reminded me of this. But wouldn't you know it, of course, he leaves the house he gets to the bus at school and on the bus and 15 minutes into the bus ride, he, he texts me, mom, you forgot to give me the cash for food. So the poor kid, here's my 17 year old. He's going to wait for, for a few days with no, no money for food. I said, how much do you have on you? He's like 10 bucks. I was like, that's never going to do. This is the kid who can really eat. All right, you guys already. I mean, come on. Isn't that pretty? 
That paper is just so beautiful, you guys. Okay, so two parts to this. There's getting this gorgeous paper on here and we're gonna paint the top. In fact, I'm just gonna paint the top now. I'm gonna paint it a gold and then we're gonna do some embellishing to make it like super feminine and pretty. Oh, thanks, Joy. I'm glad you like it. So my son goes on this trip. He only has like $10 and I'm like, oh geez, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? So, oh, actually, let's add to this, you guys. So again, it has some dry time. I'm just gonna take a watercolor and I'm gonna take a soft green that kind of matches the paper from here. And I just wanna color that a little bit with some soft green. I don't want the white in my little in my little emblem. So I, I figured out which green I wanted earlier down here. So a good thing to do is just kind of practice down here before you go in on your project to see how dark your paint is. But I'm just going to touch this with some green and then I'll keep telling you my story. So yes, Landon, no money on a trip for school. So I said to him, can you ask the teacher? And I don't know the teacher personally. I mean, he's had this teacher for a while, but I don't know the man. And I said, can you please ask him, Mr. B, if, if he could spot you the money? Like I can PayPal him the money right now if he can get to an ATM. Um, because Landon doesn't even have a debit card. He's 17, he doesn't have a bank card. He has a bank account, but it, it's like a kid account doesn't come with the bank card, not yet. So, Mr. B agrees to this and he says, yes, you can Venmo me the money. I was like, Venmo? I don't have Venmo. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I can figure this out. I have PayPal, you guys. Do you have both PayPal and Venmo? Not Venmo, uh, not this girl. I thought that PayPal was enough to stretch my technology limits. And so whenever somebody asks, can you send me some money? Like if we're fam doing a family trip or something, it's always PayPal we use. I'm like, Venmo? What the heck? So I had to do all the sign up. It actually was quite easy. So kudos to Venmo for making it super easy to figure out. But I was only PayPal here, right? I'd like to just have one. I was avoiding, I don't want to have all my bank information out there and all these different softwares, right? I mean, I'm just trying to be a little old school with that. <laughs> you use Zelle? I didn't even, I think I forgot about that one as an option. You have both plus Zelle. You have both. You guys, you're so you're so good. You're so advanced. You're so now and hip. Me, I was like avoiding it at all costs. Thank you for loving the paper. This is a new rice paper that you'll find on my website available in my shop, thecomfynestwithgrace.com. Would love to have you stop over there and check out the rice papers and napkins that I have available for um, in the shop. Your hubby uses Zelle. Zelle, I forgot all about that, Joy. But anyway... I was like, I bet I'm, t it's at like, I don't, my poor son, I don't, eight or 10 messages back and forth. I'm trying, but I keep getting an error message. How do I make her a friend on Venmo? And then thankfully the teacher gave his wife, it was through his wife's account, gave his wife um, my, my cell phone number so she could text me directly because I'm like, I need somebody to coach me through this. So technology stuff, sometimes it goes real easily and sometimes... It just doesn't. And this, I felt like this was pretty critical because my poor kid was hours away with no money. No, <laughs> poor my poor baby. All right, I'm doing gold. I had pulled out two gold paints, but this one's kind of a soft, pretty yellow gold. So I'm gonna just, this is gonna be my lid. Most of the time when I see mason jars, they have silver lids most of the time. But I have seen out there in the world like yellow gold how i mean why don't they make them all gold i think it's beautiful to have a gold lid i just feel like it's so much more special i don't know why all right one we've got one coat of yellow gold i'll do another coat because that just in fact let's just test something really quick i picked two golds from martha stewart two metallic golds one is like an antique i think it's called oh no it's just gold and this one's called yellow gold let me just put a dab of this on there and see if a mixture of the two might be nice. We're just testing a little paint palette here, a ceramic paint palette. Oh, that shows up actually better. I'm gonna blend in a little bit of that color too. And I don't, if you know me well, you know that I don't, I don't mind, I really actually prefer for my um, paint jobs to not be uber perfect. So if I get some brush strokes in there or something, I'm good with that because it kind of shows 
you know, maybe that the lid is catching some light or has a shadow or just like a, a streak of dirt or, you know, it just looks more authentic to me. We're gonna let this dry. I'm just gonna put it aside and we're gonna come back to this. It's not like we're doing two little projects here that we're gonna bring together in a minute. So see what I did there? I just added a little green so that it wasn't plain white. And I'm gonna plop that, I'm gonna glue that down into this. And then I'm gonna use some, I, I don't know that I've ever used this, you guys. Someone either sent this to me I might've got it at a thrift store. I don't remember, but this diamond glaze, did anybody use that? It's super shiny and it makes like a hard coat on the top that's really shiny and, and very um, see-through. So it'll be a really pretty, it'll make it look like it's a real pendant, even though I made it. Okay, so I'm centering. I have a little one inch. I have a little one inch um, punch that I made sure when I was shopping for these that I picked one that I had a hole punch that's the same size because there's never in a million years would I cut a circle that perfectly. And for something like this, you kind of want it to be perfect, but that's just gonna fit in there so well. And I'm just gonna put a little glue and we're gonna glue it down. So let's see what glue do we wanna use. Which glue, I may even want to use one of these. So I don't like beads of glue on my projects. And this is a thin printer paper. So I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and we will glue this down. Now that's pretty, anybody can handle that. Let's do this so you can see what I'm doing. Um, hello, Liz, thanks for being here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, new from Texas. Well, I'm in North Dakota. We couldn't be further away in the United States from each other. Well, maybe I suppose if we were in Massachusetts and California, that could be, right? Okay, this is a decoupage varnish and glue. That's all this is and I'm just, I am hitting the bottom of this with that, the bottom of the little pendant. I just put some glue on there, see it? And we're just gonna plop in there. This little god is good. Let's see if we can get it straight now. Let's <laughs> see, can we be straight? It really wouldn't matter, right? Because if you know me, I say wonky is good. All right, all I'm gonna do is press that in there. You could put whatever little, um, phrase you want to put in there. I'm going to press that in there with my thumb. Let's see what it does. Look at that. How cute is that? Um, all I did to get that, I because I was originally thinking I have teeny tiny little letter stamps and I could stamp it, but I thought, Mama, I don't have the patience for that right now. I'm a little wonky, I think. It's okay. Um, I didn't have the patience for that. So I went on Google and I Googled one inch label template. And this came up in Google Docs, this template that gives you can type something in and make sure your font, and I tried a couple of different fonts there. So I just looked for a one inch template on Google and that came up and I put God is good in there. I typed it in and then I changed the font a few times just because I wasn't sure which font I wanted to use. Um, and voila, you got it. You guys can handle that. Okay, my I can't get my hand, my finger into that, into the like corner real well. So I'm using my little, oh, reminding me that my, it, that little beep was my iron saying, I'm still on over here and I don't need it anymore. So let's just shut that off. Okay, that turned out stinking perfect. You could do, of course, the nice thing is you can customize that the way you want. Okay, let's hit that with a little air. And then I'm gonna put that diamond glaze in there to make it super shiny. And then we're going to embellish the top of that. Now, I think I used that diamond glaze on something really thin once. So it wasn't a really thick blob of it. I don't know how long it takes to dry. Use directly over artwork for a raised glass-like finish. Thin with water for a liqueur, lacquer? Lacquer, like not liqueur. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Not a liqueur-like finish, a lacquer like finish. <laughs> Absolutely the best adhesive for gluing glitter, beads, glass, plastic, vellum to paper. Color with dye. So it can be colored. It could be, <laughs> it could be colored. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got liquor on my mind. <laughs> I gave it up for Lent, girls. Okay, all I'm going to do is squeeze this into this. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, Kathy, I wasn't trying to say liquor-like. I think, um, 
I'm missing my glass of wine at night. Maybe that's my mind just saying, Gracie, you've sacrificed for Lent. That was the point. Okay. It looks, I suppose this is like Mod Podge. Let's hope. It looks cloudy going on here. I'm going to show you here in a second. It's cloudy and it's not quite, ra oh yeah, I guess it is raised up a little bit, but I got that in there. I think if I, if I pull this down, it's going to drip all over the place. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to even it out. Like I'm just making sure that it's completely in there. I don't want this part it looks dry. There we go. I'm going to even it out. There's a little bubble. So I'm going to work that out. And this is just going to give it, like it says, a glass-like finish. Where's the little pin? Here it is. Um, I got to pop that little air bubble right there. There we go. Here we go. All right. I don't know how long that's going to take to dry. Didn't even occur to me. We're going to sit that over there to dry while we work on the jar now again. So back and forth just to allow things to dry. Takes about 10 minutes to partial dry, an hour for full dry. Zena, you're a rock star. I'm so glad you knew that because I, I did not know. All right, back to my little paint palette. Um, this has pretty much dried and I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it in a little more. We're just gonna we're gonna add a little more color so that that gold really shows up. Good morning, e uh, Lisa Ann. Inspirations by Lisa Ann. I love when you guys come on um, with your business pages. Um, craft around the clock sisters. I'm so glad when you're here as your business pages so that the other crafty chicks who are hanging out with us can come find you and hang out with you and follow you and support you. So welcome. All right. We added some more. I'm not really worried about that line being super straight because I got some pearls and some burlap um, or jute and other things lined up that I might just... Um, we're just going to, we're going to decorate that middle section with. So a little more drying time. I've got about a gazillion cords here. Hold on girls. We've got to get untangled. What is the name of that top coat again? Oh, here the, um, glaze Judy Kins diamond glaze. It's mixable. Screenshot girls, find the button, find the right buttons on your phone and do a little screenshot. I think someone sent this to me as a gift. It might have been you, Joy. Were you the one who sent it to me? As a like, try this out. I'm using it today. Hey, my friend Terry, how are you? Terry, I did see your glass project. I loved it. It was so clever with the little window. Oh my gosh, adorable. You know, when you were finished and you were saying put peeps in there. Oh my gosh, I would love to fill that thing with like robin's eggs or... Look at here I am talking things that I gave up for Lent again. I gave up sweets and I gave up alcohol. Liqueur like finish. <laughs> My pendant is going to have a liqueur like finish. Hey, Zena, do you know if you've used this diamond glaze before? Um, can you can you force it dry? Can it heat set with something like a tool like this or is that not a good thing to do? We'll find out here in a minute. But maybe Zena knows the answer. She had said it dries like, um, so it's dry to the touch, I think, in 10 minutes, but it takes it a full hour to fully set or cure. Your hairstyle. What? I can't see. It. What, what, where'd that comment go? Oh, it's so pretty today. Hey, thank you very much. That's so sweet of you, Maxine. I washed my hair. <laughs> All right. 50-year-old, uh, like, let's be truthful here. I can't be the only one that does the dry shampoo <laughs> every other day in between in between washings. Thank you, though. Maxine, you're so sweet. Hey, Lori Elliott, it's your 11-month anniversary as a subscriber. Thank you, Miss Lori, for subscribing and supporting the page. What that means is I have a separate tab here on my page where... Um, subscribers those who support the page so they they sign it's like giving stars so but I don't use stars on my page I have the subscriber option because I think it's more rich I feel like it it gives both of us more so um the girls who are signed up for that they have a little teal emblem next to their name thank you thank you ladies uh there's Zena she's answering um so anyway those ladies pay $1.99 a month to support the page. So they're doing $1.99 a month through Facebook. And then they it unlocks a separate tab on my page with exclusive content. All right, here's what I'm doing. I'm simply wrapping some jute. And I think I'm just going to tie this off. I have pearls. I have lace. I have some scrappy um, fabrics. 
um, like strips like of like fabric that's been coffee stained that um, I don't know if I'm going to work that in here. So I've got like all this things, all these things over here, pearls, um, the fabric. I've got some lace and I'm just going to try to decide what to do here. I'm going to cut this excess off because that I just wanted to have a strip of burlap just to make it, I don't know, a little rustic. And then I was thinking I couldn't decide before it was all put together. I might do both. Look at how pretty this is. It's like little flower lace. So I'm going to cut a little piece of this and just do a little, um, testing like is this what I want I don't know let's see we're gonna cut let's cut it a little bigger than needed so I'm not dealing with that big tail of it but look at like I'm thinking maybe we're gonna we're gonna bling this up and then we are gonna tie this on maybe I can look let me look at I put that oh see it gives it like a glass like finish Ooh, that's exciting <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to decide if I want to hang pearls down. That might be really pretty with the pendant. And this looks incredibly bright white, like almost too bright, although the sides of my jar are white. So maybe I'll just leave it. We could always take a little archival ink and like just muck it up a little bit so it's not so darn perfect. Let's do that. I'll just use the top of this jar. We'll I'm just going to hit it with a little, just the tiniest bit of brown. I'll show you the difference here in a second. Okay, so these two florals I hit with a little bit of brown, and these ones are not. It's just the tiniest, subtlest difference, but I think it will match the front, the paper, a little better. So I'm not going wild here. We're just touching with a little bit of archival ink, and that really makes me feel like I have some control over the color as opposed to using something really liquid, like a, like a watercolor or even a marker would probably go on a little too dark. Okay, so I have, I have my glue gun. I almost never use this thing. Oh my gosh, this glue gun, what the heck is that all about? Girls, hang tight. I need a piece of like cardboard or something. Here, let's take this. It has gold glue in there. I don't want that. Get me to the real glue. I was making, you know what this is from? Oh, let's not waste it. Hold on, girls. I was making these, um, these seals. <laughs> and I forgot I had that glue in there. I'm not going to waste that. Look at it all. Woo, but I do need to get it out of there. I don't want that coppery glue in there. Oh, boy, girls. I hardly ever use my glue gun. And now I've run out of a glue stick. Let's see which door may have a glue stick in it. Here we go. I think I found one. I did, I did. There. All right. Now we're back to, we're back in business. Okay, I don't mind if it's a little bit gluey or a little bit goldish, bronzy-ish. All right, we're gonna tack this down really loose. I don't want it super tight. I want it just kind of dangly and loose like a necklace. So tack that down. Oh my gosh, I got two minutes left. All right, um, let's see. Let's get our pendant on there. I think it's dry enough. And that was kind of like the other big design element for me was this pendant. So I'm just going to tie it with some jute onto the jute so it blends in a whole lot. And what I'm gonna do, you guys have a whole day of fun coming at you with this Craft Around the Clock Jarific Day. Um, and what I want you to do when we're done here is go into Craft Around the Clock and check out the next person. Um, Terry, or uh, what's her name? Tracy. Tracy likes to keep it a surprise of who's coming next. So you have to go in and check it out. Every half hour, there'll be someone new coming at you live with new ideas for jar projects. Look at you guys. That little pendant on there saying, God is good. And I'm gonna add some more frills. Like I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna dangle some pearls or string them across. Um, but when I'm finished with the whole thing, I'll take a photo so that you guys can see it. I will definitely share it in the group with you guys. So we have about a minute left. If you have any questions about the supplies that I use today, let me know. 
If you have any questions about what I offer here at the Comfy Nest with Grace, let me know. Otherwise, just hit the follow button so we can hang out a little more. I go live every Tuesday night for sure for late night crafting. Um, my live schedule for the month, I, I'm live quite often. So if you're missing my lives, if you're already following and you're missing them, please get on the Telegram channel so that you don't miss out on anything else. Um, because I love to hang out with you guys and there's a great way to get to know you guys better. I'm so glad you love it. Hey, Missy Heath, I didn't even realize you were here. That is going to be really sweet when it's done. I'm going to finish frilling it up. You guys go check out the next, next creator and have a blast today during Jarific DIY Day. Blessings. Take care.